anche molto vicino a dove lavori Deve essere un gran vantaggio al mattino, eh? Sì Sono Maria Prego, accomodati Grazie Che bello Il mio appartamento è carino, ma in materia di spazio Uff, è un decimo di questo È un affitto o è tuo? Sì <ride> Allora, lo affitti o è tuo? No No, 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 no. È in affitto o è tuo? I'm sorry, I haven't understood anything you've been saying. <laughs> But it was your idea we should speak only in Italian. I know, I know. Anyway, so, can I use your toilet? No, no, in Italian, please. It's the only way I'm ever going to learn. Dov'è il bagno, per favore? Nope, sorry, you've lost me again. <laughs> oh, no, the toilet! Okay, okay, okay. Um, il bagno è lì. È la prima porta a... Just to throw that on the left. I'll put the kettle on. I wonder where Douglas is. Douglas, do you want a cup of coffee? Hi, I'm on the loo. I'll be out as soon as I can. Yeah. But, whew, I wouldn't come in here for a couple of hours if I were you. Right, because I'd like you to meet Maria. What? Hello. Hello, I'm Douglas. Nice to meet you. I'll just, um... Uh, no, don't get up. Right, sorry about that. Oh, what happened to, um... Maria? Yes, Maria. She left. Quite a long time ago, actually. Right, so who is she? My Italian teacher. Oh, of course, Tuesday evenings. Yes, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, all right. I learnt some more advanced phrases this evening. Really? Yes, like what? Well, for instance, please could you speak much more slowly? Oh, yes, that is useful. What is that in Italian? I don't know, I only learnt it in English. <laughs> Still, you're creeping to your teacher. That's always a good move. No, not creeping. She's a very nice woman. I like her. Yeah, she sounded all right through the door. Yeah. We went out for an Italian film and a pizza. I enjoyed it. What was it called? Four Cheeses. <laughs> oh, the film. The film, I don't know. It was in Italian. To be honest, I don't think she gets out much. She only moved here in June. I think there's a bit of a messy breakup in the background somewhere. You'd like her. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I mean, she'd come along on Tuesday evening. What for? Well, who knows? You might enjoy it. I already speak Italian. You speak Italian? Yes. You kept that to yourself. My first ever girlfriend was Italian. Really? Yes, Isabella. It was a pretty steamy affair. How old were you? Well, I told her I was ten. Oh, how sweet. How old were you really? Twelve, but I could only count up to ten in Italian. So you don't really speak Italian then? No, I speak it fluently. I just don't understand what I'm saying. No, but I mean, you should get out more. It would do me good. You mean do me good? I know what I mean. Yeah, but somewhere out there, there's a girl with your name written on her. Yeah, but where? I don't know, maybe just round the corner. No, where on her will my name be written? But look, you meet someone, you hit it off. You get married, you have children. Who knows, if things go really well, you could move out of my flat. Oh, and Adam phoned. Yeah. He wants to swap Wednesday around with Friday next week. He wants to swap Wednesday and Friday around. Blimey, that's ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> What does he think he is, a time lord? What does he plan for Thursday? Oh, he likes Thursday where it is. Oh, that's big of him. Mm. Oh, actually, Mel, what are you and Craig doing on Friday night? Friday? Yeah, do you want to come up for supper? Oh, I'd love to, but it's a bit awkward. Craig's insisted on cooking a meal at his place on Friday. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what he's going to be cooking? Could be anything. Really? Yeah, last week he cooked a meal, and as I was eating it, I thought this could be anything. <laughs> right. So, um, what about Saturday night? Yeah, I should be up and about again by then. <laughs> Great, Saturday it is then. Great. Do you want me to bring anything? No, it's all right. You know, I've been taking these Italian lessons. Si, sì, perfetto. What? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, so I've invited my teacher. I'm going to cook an Italian meal. Oh, great, in Italian evening. Well, yeah. Also, I wanted to meet Douglas. Douglas, why? I just think it would be nice if they met each other. Oh, right. What's she like? Yeah, she's a really lovely woman. It's a long shot. <laughs> it's abnormal. Well, that depends how you define normal. No, but it is. It's unhealthy. Unhealthy? That's a very interesting word to use about sex, which is, after all, one of the most natural... I can't think about anything else. Yes, all I'm saying is that using judgmental words might not actually help you. Do you know how many times I had sex last week? Well, no, but that's not really... 35 times. Yes, but that's... that's... <laughs> 35? Yes. But, I mean, how do you fit it in? 
<laughs> Might as well say wearing lipstick or brushing your hairs, pretending to be somebody else. If you don't like the way I look, why don't you just come out and say it? I don't like the way you look. You see? All right, so let's just have I don't a know look. what all the fuss is about. All we're talking about is a nip and tuck. Well, but why should I pretend to be something I'm not? I'm 42, I'm not 28. <laughs> There's no need to advertise it. I'm me. I'm comfortable in my own skin. <laughs> Should hope so. There's enough of it. What? Oh, dear. <laughs> right. It's a minor surgical procedure. It's completely painless. Everybody's having it done these days. Well, I think everybody's probably a bit of an exaggeration. Ivana Trump, Goldie Horn, Liz Hurley? Yeah, well, I think... She hasn't, has she? Who? Miss Hurley. Of course she has. No, she hasn't. Those aren't her lips. Yeah, but I really think... Jodie she... Foster? Well, no, actually, no, she hasn't. I know that for a fact, because I read an interview with her, and she no, says... She... No, you're thinking of, um... Oh, you're thinking... Of... Who's that actress that I always get confused with, that other actress? Um, oh, you know, what's her name? Michelle Pfeiffer. No, you know, she was in that film with, um... Oh, you know, Tom Hanks, uh, Top Gun... Oh, Andy McDowell. Actually, Tom Hanks wasn't in Top Gun. That was Tom Cruise. But can we just get back to... Uh... Actually, I didn't mean Top Gun. Apocalypse Now. No, don't say anything. It was, um... Sleeps in Seattle. Oh, Sigourney Weaver. Meg Ryan. Yeah, Meg Ryan. <laughs> yeah, she's that one. That's it, Meg Ryan. Good. So, if we can... Now, who do I always get confused with Meg Ryan? Apart from anything else, it's wearing me out. Yeah, is it? I mean, how many times did you have sex last week? Well, it's not really appropriate for me to discuss. Is it less than 35? Last week? Yes, it is, yes. So, anyway, it's got to the point where I'm going to need help. I'm afraid that's absolutely out of the question. <laughs> oh, help to stop, you mean? <laughs> she was completely insane. That's not true! She was a total nutcase. Right. She was just a bit upset because Michael Douglas had gone back to Holly Hunter. <laughs> She's that one? Yeah, and fact, she was... both have. And she was pregnant. No, she wasn't. Can I... She I... wasn't pregnant. She was a psychopath. She drowned his bloody rabbit, for God's sake. Now, OK, I, I'm going to have to stop you there. Now, you could have this argument anywhere. I mean, obviously it's up to you, but I have to point out, to have it here is a waste of your time. Right. Good point. And anyway, she didn't drown his rabbit, she boiled it. It's only a film. Shut up! Yes, yeah, shut up. <laughs> so, Saturday night, eh? Yeah, yeah. What? The Geek's Italian evening. Oh, that, yes. How do you know about it? She's invited me and Craig. Has she? Yeah, it should be good fun. What do you mean, good fun? Nothing. I just mean I'm looking forward to it. Look, I know what's going on here. What do you mean? Oh, come off it. How stupid do you think I am? Well, I think that was rhetorical. <laughs> but I think it's romantic. Two people who don't know each other, thrown together by fate. Actually, we're being thrown together by Kate, which is a completely different thing. <laughs> and a much more powerful force. You can't carry a torch for Kate forever, you know. Sooner or later, the, you know, the, the batteries are going to run out. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently Maria's a really nice woman. Yeah. Is she? Have you met her yet? I've not actually met her, no. I've, I've spoken to her on the... Um... On the phone. Well, on the toilet, actually. <laughs> she seemed all right through the door. I suppose I'll have to get through the evening somehow. Hey, Douglas. Douglas, um... Hi. What are we doing on Saturday night? No, just a minute. Douglas, um, what, uh, what star sign are you? Star sign? Oh, here we go. Well, I, why? No, don't say anything. Just tell me. What star sign are you? Aries. Aries, right. Hang on a minute. Just go with it. Remember what you said? <laughs> you were born, OK? You were born on the 21st of March to the 20th of April. <laughs> I'm right, no. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That seems very simple. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mel bought me this book on astrology. It's true, I did. It's funny, really, because I was always really sceptical about it, but it's actually very logical. Explain it, if you like. Well, no. No, Th no, don't explain it. What are we doing on Saturday night? Saturday night, OK. Hold on a second. <laughs> Saturday night. What day is that? No, what are we doing on Saturday night? All right, give me a chance. No, just tell me. No, don't use the book. Don't use the book? Are you mad? What do you think I am, Merlin? <laughs> Look, OK, we're going to Kate's for an Italian evening. But that's... No, I, I no. That is what it says. I looked it up earlier. <laughs> you see? I don't know what you're complaining about. It's no big deal. I'm not complaining. It'll be embarrassing and a disaster, but if you're happy with that... Well, the worst thing that can happen is that you don't like her, which I think is very unlikely, or she doesn't like you, which I think is very... Well, it's... Well, either way, the worst that can happen is we have a very nice evening anyway. How bad can that be? Oh, God, that'll be the croutons. The croutons? Shall I let them in? <laughs> they won't be just something useful. OK. Finish the pizza bases. 
Why do I always leave everything to the last minute? What do I do? Well, just roll it out really thin, then cut it into circles. Okay. Of course, if we were in Italy now, what we'd do is throw it up in the air, spin round, and come down in a perfect pizza shape. Really? Yeah, failing that, we'd go to a restaurant. <laughs> What is it with me? Why do I always leave everything to the last minute? Or actually, what do you call those minutes just after the last minute? Why isn't there a word for them? It's very, very Italian to be chaotic but brilliant. When they do it, it's stylish and artistic, but when we do it, it's... <laughs> Where's the dough? What? The dough. Where is it? I don't know. What do you mean, don't know? I... it... the... Well, where is it? It's gone. Oh, this isn't funny. I'm going to count to three. OK. One. Two. <laughs> oh, there it is. Go on, say it. All the answer was. I get that. Oh, God, here we go. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. You must be Douglas. Who? I'm Maria. Are you? Yes. Hello, I'm Douglas. Yes, hi. Sorry, come in. Come in. I brought this. It's a traditional Italian cake. Oh, it's not panettone. Yes, it is panettone. Oh, I love panettone. Yes. Are you... Kate's just... You're not actually Italian, are you? I mean, actually Italian. Yes, yes, I am. Oh. Why? Is that a problem? No, no, I love Italy. It's just... Oh. Ciao, buonasera, Maria. Oh, ciao, Kate. Come va? Bene, grazie. Questo è Douglas. Sì, piacere, Douglas. Ave, Maria. <laughs> Is he going to open a bottle of wine? Yes, please. Hi. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. So, that's Douglas. Yeah. He's nice, isn't he? Yeah. Sorry, what have you got in your hair? <laughs> it, mine, nothing. No, no, you've got some white bits. It's dandruff. Dandruff? <laughs> yes, it's annoying. Yes, but it's... God, they're enormous. I know, I know. <laughs> You're so lucky with your hair. So, what were you chatting to Douglas about? Is he all right? I know. Douglas can seem a bit odd when you first meet him, but when you get to know him better, he... no, that isn't going to work. <laughs> no, Douglas is a very nice man. I can never figure out why he isn't going out with anyone just at the moment. Oh, really? Well, why isn't he? Why isn't he? Oh, you know when you go through a period when you're just between relationships? Oh, yes. Well, he's just between two of those periods. <laughs> hey, who'd like a glass of wine? Yes, please. Oh, lovely. Oh, God, this is so typical of Douglas. He's so thoughtful. I mean, I'm a modern woman. I have to say, there's a lot to be said for chivalry. There's nothing like having a man to open a door for you, pull out your chair and give you a damn good scene, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've ever had sex with Douglas. <laughs> Not that I don't want to, or, although I, I don't want to, or, although there's not nothing, you know, wrong with him, although I don't know that. I mean, how could I? So how's the wine coming along? Here you go. <sighs> nothing like a good Italian wine. All these New World Chardonnays are a bit, of, uh, a bit of Emperor's new clothes about them, as far as I'm concerned. So, anyway, to Italy. To Italy. Salute. And to, to you both. I mean, well, individually, you know. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> This is... It's quite, um... It's got a bit of a... Mm, it's olive oil. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that'll be Mel and Craig. OK, everybody out the nice air. Nobody gets to hurt her. What the hell? You shut your mouth. You mess with me, you're going to end up wearing the concrete hats. Concrete boots. What do you think? Mel, what's going on? What's happening? Italian evening? Yep. Oh, God. I'm Al Capone. This is my wife. Mol. Mol Capone, yeah. <laughs> Mrs Capone. Mass Capone. Yeah. We had to put a lot of thought into what to come as. Did you? Oh, well, yeah, because the trouble with Italy, I mean, what have you got? Um, I mean, apart from Mussolini. Apart from Mussolini, I don't know. Hmm. We thought about Mussolini, but mm. basically it's just a little fat guy in a hat. And I didn't want to look completely stupid. No. <laughs> so, so basically with Italy, it's either gondoliers, and obviously everyone's going to come as gondoliers. Oh, obviously. The Mafia or the Pope. <laughs> Yeah. We didn't want to come as the Pope in case we offended someone. No. So we went for the Mafia. Yeah, because they're virtually all in the Mafia anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. So, Maria, this is Craig and Mel. Hi. Hello. I'm Craig. Yeah, this is Maria. Maria's Italian. Oh, great. Yeah. So, glass of olive oil, anyone? Yes, please. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just uh, joking then about the Mafia. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't want to wake up tomorrow morning with a, you know, horse's head in my bed. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Craig. I've nothing against astrology. I think it's full of interesting, symbolic stuff and everything. I just don't believe in it. Well, of course you don't. That is typical of a Gemini. I'm Pisces. A Pisces, yeah, it's classic. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, it's interesting, but you can't actually use it to predict anything. Uh, OK. All right, what is your favourite colour? Blue. Right, there he goes, exactly. <laughs> I thought the book was a bit of fun, you know, just to see if we were compatible. And are you compatible? Well, we were. Now all we do is argue about the bloody book. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a, a hair grip. <laughs> OK, so you got it. Oh, why is that? I, I never get it. I never get the hair grip in the pizza. <laughs> Yeah, hi. How's it going with, um, Maria? Terrible. Well, you say that, but I think she likes you. No, it's terrible. I'm infatuated with her. You're infatuated with her? I can't take my eyes off her. I don't know what it is, but she's... And that accent, every time she speaks, I just... Oh, it's such a nightmare. <laughs> oh, awful. It's pathetic. It's a disaster. Disaster, yeah. Why is it a disaster? Why? Yeah. Because I'm actually in love with Kate. Oh, God, you... Oh, yeah, no, forget Maria. She's crap. I'm gonna forget Maria. <laughs> She's out there right now, sitting there in an Italian accent. Hi. What's going on with the one? We're dying of thirst out there. Oh, sorry. Um. So, what do you think of her? Who? Maria. Who? Maria. Oh, her, yeah. No, she's all right. She's all right? Yes, well, she's very amiable. Amiable? She's fantastic. She's funny, she's bright, she's attractive, she's sexy. Yes, if you like that kind of thing. <laughs> There's a difference between playing hard to get and hard to like, Douglas. Yeah, but I... This is ridiculous. I've invested years not telling Kate how much I love her, and now, after five minutes under the spell of some Italian goddess, it's as if I never had a relationship with her. Yeah, you never have had a relationship with her. Am I not in control of what I do? Am I not intelligent? Am I not rational? Of course you're not. I'm bigger than this. This is nothing more than animal lust. I'm not going to let this happen. I am bigger than my penis. <laughs> so am I. Yeah. I'm quite a lot bigger than mine. Very difficult being a man. I'm going to go out there and be strong. Yeah. I'm going to show myself who's boss. Yeah! Get out there and go for it, you know? I mean, yeah. you know, don't go for it. Yeah. Way not to go. Right. <laughs> Here I go. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Nothing. No. Douglas. Oh, yes. What, what was it that actually attracted you to the idea of going into counselling in the first place? What? I was just wondering why you became a counsellor. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> OK. I am going to change the subject. OK. You're so lucky to be living with someone like Kate. Yes. No, yes. I, I, I'm not actually living with... I mean, we're just like sisters. Oh, I wish I had a sister like Kate. My sister was horrible to me. She used to tie me up and tickle me with a feather. Oh. <laughs> Kate is a really special person. I mean, inviting me around to meet all her interesting friends. It hasn't been exactly easy for me. Oh, but Kate is really the best thing that has happened to me since I got here. Where did your sister used to tickle you? Hi. Hi. Do you need a hand? No. Honestly, it was never going to work. It's like trying to mate a fine Italian thoroughbred with a cart horse. Kate? Well, well, it's just... You do know what's going on here, don't you? Yeah, bugger all. Niente. Actually, that might be 90. No, sorry, what is going on? Well, she's... Maria, she's gay. What do you mean? She's a lesbian. <laughs> ridiculous. Can't you tell? I can always tell. Maria is not... Maria is not a lesbian. She is, I'm sure of it. Don't be... <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. Just because someone doesn't find Douglas physically attractive does not mean they're a lesbian. That would make everyone a lesbian. <laughs> I just know it's just a feeling that you get. And what's more, she thinks you're coming on to her. 
She thinks I'm coming on to us, and I'm a lesbian too. You've gone lesbian mad. <laughs> Think about it. You meet her at an evening class, you start to hang around and gradually befriend her, you take her to the cinema and invite her back for a coffee afterwards, then you bring her around here and introduce her to all your friends, and then, when she said she's worried about drink driving, you said, oh, don't worry, you can stay here tonight. <laughs> I am a lesbian. Why am I always the last to know? Oh, God, what a mess. No, no, it's all right. No, I I'm a trained counsellor. I can handle this. Mm. What are you going to do? I'm going to climb out the window. I can shin down the drain pipe. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. You're an adult. I'm an adult. Now, hang on a minute. Now you've got me at it, too. No, I am not a lesbian. Maria is not a lesbian. She's a... Hi! Hi. <laughs> is there anything I can do? No, I'm actually... If I think I'll just get... go and see if Craig's still, um, sitting down. <laughs> How are you getting on with Douglas? Well, he's a... Uh, an unusual guy. Yeah, but four, eh? Hey? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, what's Italian for? Well, hey. Hate. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't really go for him. He doesn't do it for you. So he's, you don't really go for the tall, thin, spindly type, you know. But men, eh? Hey? Can't live with them, can't live with them. But uh, what sort of men do you normally... No, uh... Kate, stop it, stop this. OK. We both know what this is about. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, this is a wonderful evening. I'm so flattered you do all this and introduce me to your friends and everything. And I don't want to offend you, but it's one woman to another. Yes? I'm just not ready for a serious relationship. You're not? I'm sorry. No, well... <laughs> I just thought I'd say this now before this went any further, before anyone's feelings get hurt. No, right, good, well done. <laughs> I just wanted to be clear. Yeah, no, well, thanks very much for being straight with me. Oop. <laughs> No, because I'm a Cancerian, and Mel here is a Piscesian, which is why we get on so well together, you know? It's all predetermined at birth. You don't have any choice in the matter. Even if we didn't like each other at all, we would still get on very, very well. Yeah? No, ha ha hang on a minute. What, what would happen if you had children? Douglas. No, but, I mean, you're a Cancer, so that's a crab, right? Mm -hmm. You're a Pisces, that's what a... Um, fish. Fish. So if you had children, what would you get? Get an aquarium. <laughs> Oh, great. I love Abiyamo. So, Douglas, what star sign are you again? I'm an Aries, with the ram. <laughs> of course, I started out as a Virgo, like everybody does. Douglas, do you want to come in the kitchen and choose your spoon? No, I'm fine. In the kitchen now? Yeah, OK. <laughs> I'm all right. What's the matter? Nothing. I just wanted to stop you making a fool of yourself. I mean, a bigger fool. What are you talking about? I was just getting going. I was on a roll. She's a lesbian. What? You know, she's a lesbian. Maria's not a lesbian. She... No, don't start that. She told me herself a minute ago. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but the point is, she thinks I fancy her. God. Yeah, Kate, you're not a lesbian, are you? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Mark. Because that would have been a hell of an evening for me. What do you do? Well, if I were you, I'd sleep with her. I mean, if I was her, I'd sleep with you. No, I mean... shut up, shut up. I've got to think about this calmly. Now, I have two choices. Either I tell her the truth, or I... No, I have one choice. Either I tell her the truth... No, I don't have any choices. I've got to tell her the truth. Right, God, what a mess. What's the Italian for fiasco? Fiasco. Great. <laughs> and we all like to think that we're in control of our lives, but actually, we're not at all. You know, if you look backwards through time, everything <laughs> always worked out exactly the way that it did. You name me one thing that hasn't. Maria? We're even here now, having this discussion, because it is our destiny. Not because we've chosen to. It's certainly true in my case. Yeah, crazy. Your life is, is mapped out for you, like a... a like, well, like a map, you know, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, Craig! You can't hold back the sea. Be like that little Dutch boy, you know, with his finger in the... No, Craig, the... not him. Not the little Dutch boy. <laughs> I think I really had better go. May I just use the loo? Yes, of course, you know where it is. Oh, yes, I remember. Oh, is it safe to go in there now? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> so when are you going to tell her? I'm trying, I'm trying. It's not easy with Nostradamus here. <laughs> tell her what? Yeah, you were right. What, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And about yeah, everything, everything. God. Exactly. Sorry, am I really slow? Wait, we haven't got time for that now. No, I mean, what are you going on about? No, it's nothing. It's, it's just that Maria's... Maria's a... That's all. What? <laughs> Maria's a... Well, what's wrong with that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. So what sort of fuss about? Well, no, the thing is... She... Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so, Maria, Mel tells me you're a Libyan. I really value your friendship and I would never do anything to hurt you and I should have said something earlier but I didn't which is entirely my fault but I didn't know how to put it not that there's anything wrong with it although not that anyone said there is although Maria Maria I'm not a lesbian Libyan no Craig shut up <laughs> Maria I'm not a lesbian you're not a lesbian no not right you know just basically it why are you telling me this I just wanted to clear it up Right. Kate, I never for a moment thought you were a lesbian. But all that stuff in the kitchen, what was all that about? Well, Douglas, of course. Douglas? Blimey, I'm not a lesbian, am I? <laughs> Craig, I think maybe we should be making a move now. Well, isn't that what this whole evening has been about? Right. Right. Kate, it's been really... Sit down. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, Mel... When did you become aware of this uncanny ability to read people with such unerring accuracy? I was just trying to be helpful. Helpful, yes. Now, I'm a reasonably well-adjusted woman, but I have spent the last two hours either in the kitchen having intense but meaningless conversations with each of you in turn, except Craig, or... I didn't know about it. Or <laughs> out here playing Don't Mention the War, terrified in case someone inadvertently starts to mention beavers or something. Beavers? <laughs> Maria, it's my fault, and I'm sorry. Tell her what you told me in the kitchen. I've never seen a beaver. No, don't. <laughs> I said I thought you were a lesbian. I was wrong, it was a mistake. I don't know when I'm going to learn to keep my big mouth shut, and I apologise unreservedly. I should damn well think so. Well, as a matter of fact, now that you bring it up, I am a lesbian. <laughs> you are a lesbian? Yes, as it happens. It just hadn't cropped up. So, when is your birthday? <laughs> I hate it when this happens. <laughs> Kiss Me Kate next week at the slightly later time of 9.40. And the comedy keeps on coming on BBC One with naughty goings-on in the garden. Alistair McGowan's big impression up next. <laughs>